Well, I have not played with my jelly printing plate for quite some time now, so I have pulled it out and what prompted me to do this is Christy Sobolewski from artgeeks.ning.com had a um, vlog um, either earlier this week or the end of last week. I don't remember when she posted it. But anyway, she had a um, video about how she prints her artwork to these laser labels or printer labels and business cards and stuff. And um, so... Even though I'm not doing that, it did put the idea in my head of using labels um, for with my jelly plate. So she says that she, you know, prints her artwork to these labels and stuff to throw, like, so she can peel them off and put them, you know, in her work as like a pop of color or whatever. So um, I don't scan my artwork, but I do. Um, you know, like the idea of having like a pop of color. So I thought, man, I'm going to use my jelly plate to um, just lay out a bunch of colors. So I have um, a lot of stencils out. I pulled out a lot of my big stencils and um, a lot of the smaller ones as well. You know, some of the eight and a half by 11, Diane Reebley, <clears throat> some of the, um, you know, smaller ones as well. Um, I have some texturing materials out as well. So I'm going to have kind of a mess strewn about here. Um, you know, I have some texturing stuff as well, like these, um, you know, things that I got at the dollar store, the, you know, things that help you, like shelf liners and stuff to help you open a jar, whatever the heck that was. And um, so I'm going to use that as well. And then, of course, I have what I've already been using for texture. You know, I cut out these, um, oh, heck, what are the name of those envelopes that Kathy Orta uses in her binding? I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's that material that, you know, won't tear. So this is, like, really good for you because you can just continue to reuse this. God, I wish I could think of that material. <clears throat> it's totally eluded me right now, as usually things do when I am recording. But anyway, um, so I've got the jelly plate out. Um, normally, I use the Pabio Studio paints, which are awesome on this. But I have so many um, craft paints that I hardly ever use. So I think I'm going to use those instead this time around and just throw some of the Liquitex um metallic colors for you know just that little bit of sheen or shine if I want that so yeah I'm doing something a little different this time around with my jelly plate so and instead of printing to normal watercolor paper although that is going to be the first thing that I do because um, I'm going to do an, uh, <laughs> a print for a journal page but um, so for the first time I'm going to print to a bunch of laser labels I have all kinds of different um, sizes in here it's not just this you know size here so and some of them are clear some of them are the white um yeah so it'll be cool because then you can just peel off those and throw it in your art journal or whatever you know your project you're working on so yeah i got that idea from christy sobolewski and um so yeah here let's get let's just get started now i got a bunch of crap out here <laughs> including my jelly plate and um yeah i'm spending the afternoon at home not doing anything it's saturday afternoon it's pouring outside here so you are getting to see sorry about my bare feet under here but i'm totally comfortable I'm not going to get dressed up for this video and um i have a uh, pan of water off to the side on the floor so i'm going to just throw my stencils in there as i get them dirty and some of them I clean, some of them I don't. All right, so let's get going here. The first thing I'm going to do, because I wanted to get a journal page ready, because after I do this, I'm going to go back to some art journaling. So I'm going to use this stencil right here. And I just want to do a background. This is for um, a loose journal page. Um, I've got like three or four different 
journals going on right now and this is my loose leaf one that I'm going to use um, when I'm done I'm going to cinch it so anyway so yeah um this is just going to be a background color I got to think about this because I don't know exactly I think I think I am going to go to the top of this and I, I think after I get the acrylic laid on it I think when I go to my put this you know, finally in my art journal and work on it. I'm going to do watercolors inside for the tree. So I have to think about the background. And I think I'm going to have it be like a dark page. So I think I'm going to use black and copper on this for my background to start out with. So here we go. I'm just going to put some of this out. some of the black there we go got my brayer kind of want to mix that up and okay then I'm going to clean my brayer off I've got a craft paper over here to the side that I'm cleaning my brayer off with. Okay. Now, I'm just going to set this. Right here on top like so. Come here like this. And this ain't nothing new that you haven't already seen a gazillion times if you've watched any videos with the jelly plate. Oh, still had color on there. Well, I guess that'll be the start of the back page when I put this in my journal. Okay. Wahoo! Oh, I like that background, man. Nice. Okay, so that's all good to go. I'm going to hang this. I usually when I do these prints, I just throw it to the side. I've got so much crap strewn out here, though, that um, <laughs> I can't really move around too much all over my floor here. So I'm going to hang these with a uh, clothesline clip. Um, I have a closet here in my craft room that I'm just going to hang it off the rail. So just like it's clothes drying. All right. And you know, I don't know that I'll get anything off of this, but, um, I, what am I going to do on this? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just going to throw this over here. I don't know that I'll get anything off of it. Oh, I should have used that on another journal page. Bummer. Okay, I'm going to color over that. Okay. Now I'm going to get into the labels. Oh, phone's ringing. I'll be back, you guys. Okay, sorry about the interruption. Okay, now I... Back to the labels. All right, so here we go. These are just some clear laser labels. And um, you can't even see them. But like I said, it'll be really interesting to get some color on here. And then when I'm working in my art journal, I can just like peel these off and, you know, you know, throw them on my page somewhere. And I think that's a great idea. So thank you, Christy Sobolewski, for that great idea. Even though I'm not using it quite the same way close enough. All right, now, colors. Um, 
Here we go, back to the craft paint and I think I'm gonna use a pink and an orange. Pink and orange. What have we got here? Bright orange and carousel pink. Again, oh, I haven't even used this one yet. Um, again, I'm just using the um, Americana paints. I usually buy these from Michaels when they go on sale. And, um, I, you know, I pick up a few bottles here and there. So I've got quite a few of these. And like I said, I don't ever use them. Um, I don't know why. I just don't use these when I'm art journaling or doing canvases. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this. I use a little bit more paint than what you are, you know, what they say you are, you know, advised to use, and um, that's because I like to pull mul multiple prints. Even though the whole purpose of jelly printing is to do mono printing, which is just one print, but I like to get multiple pulls off of my jelly plate when I'm doing it. So I picked up picked up that little tidbit from um, Patty Parrish here on YouTube. She has some great videos on the jelly plate as well, so. Okay, I'm gonna use this eye stencil. Um, this was actually a freebie from one of Patty's, um, Patty um, endorses these products for eye stencils, and um, so we got a discount off of one, and they also include, if you spend over a certain dollar amount, you got a free stencil, and this was the free stencil that was included when I placed an order for it. I've also placed another order from uh, Kim, I can't pronounce her last name, she's Kim or B here on YouTube. Um, they had another on Art Geeks. If you're a member of Art Geeks, they had another 20% off um, coupon that they were running for a while. And so I got another order placed for these. But um, you should check out that those websites as well um, if you're interested in the jelly plate. Because uh, five of the artists from that website were doing some great tutorials on this. Okay, I'll quit blabbering. Here we go. Putting that right there. I'm gonna get in here. I probably should have had a background color on here before I did this, but you know what? Ah. I ain't liking that either. Neato. Okay. Kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely think I need to have, like, background color on these labels. I don't think it's going to turn out quite as good if I don't do that. So, I do believe... You know what? I'm definitely going to need... Some more paper. Because I'm going to need um, to do the clean off. So I totally forgot about that. So I am going to get just some, you know, medium weight um, cardstock out. This is office supply cardstock. So that I can do my clean off on these. So I'm going to grab another label, put it down, flip this over on top of this so that you get the most bang for your buck here. Try not to move it around too much.
This is dirty work. All right. Stick that in my water. Yeah, see, I like those labels better. So I like it when it's like the full page has like some color on it instead of, you know, like this. So I will more than likely go over that again with something else. So you can see this will be great. You can just peel these off and, you know, put it in your, incorporate it into your work somehow. All right, so listen, I am going to go through and um, do a bunch more stuff, um, you know, with my jelly plate. I'm not going to go over all that because there's tons of videos on here. Um, I just wanted to share this idea um, with you on, you know, as far as, you know, if you have a bunch, if you're like me and you have a whole bunch of these um, labels that you don't use anymore, because um, I've had these for years, um, this, this is a great um, idea for repurposing something. And, um, yeah, uh, I may be back to show some prints um, after I am done. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so these are um, just a few of the prints that I got off of um, that jelly plate from doing all those prints. So I'm just going to do, you know, just a quick flip through here. And... Um, you know, some things were just really plain. They were just like a clean off um, from what was laid down. So, um, you know, like this is another clean off because you can see the under. I really like that. Like I said, this will just be really good for like a little pop of color somewhere on my journal pages. Just so I'm not stumped for an idea start, you know? Another clean off. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, I like that. I wouldn't mind that actually being an entire background on a journal page. So... I thought that was a pretty good idea, like I said, I've mentioned that Christy had. So I'm going to put a link down to all the people I've mentioned um, down below in the description. So if you want to check them out, um, I have, so here's an idea of how I'm going to use it. So like this right here is just um, one of these Daler Rowney um, Jour, uh, journals that um, I actually use for like a clean off so um, you know like cleaning off uh, you know whatever I'm working on stencils um, I think here like I was doing some brayering because this looks like brayered <coughs> um, prints on here but so you can get a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about by using these if I can find one here that I want to use but like right here so like this is a clear label right here so now you can just come in and peel that off so you've got that little touch of color there and you know you can just start you know building your page on top of that and um, you know by using these little pops of color so I really like that. It's just a good way to start out a page or finish one that you're working on. and um, But that was like the general idea. So, um, And then I, did, I didn't really spend as much time um, doing packing tape transfers like I wanted to. I really wanted to explore that further. <laughs> I only did like one little thing and I didn't even do anything really extravagant because um, there's you know more things that could be done to this but this is how like some of my packing tape um, came out. It was just one run that I did with it but um, I like how you can just turn it over and do because it's a transparent layer, so, like, I can take my, um, I'm just going to pull a stamp out right now. Like, I'm going to use this, um, 
Impression Obsession script stamp here. And I'm going to ink it up with some stays on jet black. And I'm not going to do the entire stamp because I just want to test this out and see how it turns out if I stamp on this. So there's the back side. So when I put it on my page, because this, you know, the sticky's all, you know, the adhe adhesive part of this is all gone from where, you know, it was on the jelly plate. But yeah, I like how it's just kind of like buried in the background now with that script. So, you know, I could even, you know, because I could use this um, in my journal as well. So just an idea for, you know, putting some more, you know, stuff in your journal. Like I said, this is just a clean off, but you know, you could take it and just, you know, incorporate that into your, you know, journal as well. And I really like that. So just some ideas. Uh, and like I said, I'll put some links below to some of the people that I've mentioned in the video um, who do the jelly plate um, demos much better. Um, like I said, this was mainly just the idea of using um, the jelly plate with the labels. So, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you later.